there are only a very few things in life that are more frustrating than knowing that you want to change your weight or your diet, knowing that you really want to do it to change your weight or your diet, and actually trying to change your weight and your diet, and then actually not changing. Yeah. Need to, want to, try to, fail. <laughs> that just results in a total feeling of defeat and feeling that we're failures. And maybe that's where you are right now in your weight loss journey, just feeling like you failed one time too many, you want to change, you've tried to change, you know that you need to change, but it just seems absolutely straight up impossible. And so maybe you just decided to quit because you know what? You're a failure, but we're here to tell you that you are not a failure. We just want to say, if you've tried all the diets and they didn't work for you, it's not your fault. Diets have failed you. You haven't failed at dieting. And we want to share some really interesting things today that is going to help you get back on track and develop the healthy habits so that you will once and for all lose the weight. Exactly. Because we know and we claim all the time that with God, all things are possible. So we have to start believing and claiming that that is true over our weight loss journey as well, because if we believe that what the Bible says is true, then we have to believe that. <laughs> That's right. And so I'm going to read a verse right now, and it's from Proverbs 23, verse 7. And here's what it says. God says, for as he thinks within himself, so he is. Hmm. Now, let's just break that down again, but I'll say it again. For as he thinks within himself, so he is. What does that actually mean? Well, it means, what do you think about you? Because what you think about you is who you are and who you are going to become. So if you have tried all the diets, we want to just ask you right now, what have you been thinking while you've been trying? Have you been thinking that I just can't do it? It's just too hard. I just am a failure. And why do I always ditch it all? But it's because I just can't do it. But even deeper than that, what do you think about yourself? Do you think to yourself, maybe at a level that you don't really even know you're thinking, well, I'm just always going to be fat. I'm just always going to be stuck here. I've always been this way. So it's always going to be this way. I'm never going to be able to do it because this is who I am. Right. And that is starting to have that identity, identity statement where you're saying, I am bad. I am defeated. And we don't want to have an identity statement where we're telling ourselves that we're no good, mm -hmm. that we're not worthy, because the Bible clearly says the opposite. God made us in his image. He knit us together in our mother's womb, and he knows us intimately. He created us to be someone to glorify him, to worship him. He created us beautifully. Mm -hmm. And so we know beyond a shadow of a doubt that those are lies and the wires in our brains are crossed. Yeah, because God created your body with the ability to live at a healthy weight. Full stop. <laughs> <laughs> now right? that might seem pretty harsh to say, but we can tell you that we know from experience because we've had our own weight loss journey, but we know that we have the power to change, but we don't um, what's believe. The, yeah, we don't believe that we actually can do it, mm -hmm. but we have the power living within us. We have the Holy Spirit living within us and that is the same power in us that rolled the stone from the tomb. Like God created so many miracles and he, this is the power that we have. So can we do it? Absolutely we can. Is it going to be challenging? Absolutely it is. <laughs> but we just want to encourage you today that it is possible. We have what we call the ABCs of healthy Christian living mm -hmm. and Using the ABCs has helped thousands of women shed pounds. And so we just want to quickly share them with you. A is for awareness. We have to become aware of what we're doing. We have to come become aware of what we're consuming. And that includes food going into our mouth, what we put on ourselves. And it also includes everything going on in our mind, which is what we were just talking about, right? What do you think about you? And so if your awareness level is that you don't really even know what you think about you, then we've got to start there to uncover what it is that you do think about you. Because there's a, a saying from Pastor Craig Rochelle that goes like this, your life is moving in the direction of your strongest thoughts. And so really what that means is if your strongest thoughts are that I'm always going to be this way, I'm always going to be overweight, I can't do this. Well, then that's the direction that your weight loss journey is going to be moving in because 
that's the direction of your strongest thoughts. And we just want to take a quick interlude and share with you this amazing book that is just new from Craig Groeschel. If you don't know Pastor Craig Groeschel, he's the pastor of Life Church, also uh, an author of multiple books. This one is his latest release called The Power to Change. And if you are looking for a uh, new belief in yourself, to understand that you have the power to change through the Holy Spirit, then this book is for you, my friend. We will link it below uh, in the in the notes. So go ahead and grab yourself a copy and it will honestly change the way that you think. <laughs> and it's going to help you in your weight loss journey. So yeah. we really encourage you to get this book. Mm -hmm. And one of the quotes that he has in it, because it goes with what we were just talking about, who, who we are, our character, he says, shapes our thoughts about ourselves and others. What we think is a reflection of who we are. And that comes back to the Bible verse that we shared at the beginning. For as he thinks within himself, so he is. Mm -hmm. So we really have to become aware of what our belief system is in ourselves. And we have to change it up so that we start to love ourselves, so that we start to love ourselves, so that we take care of ourselves, so we will lose the weight. And, you know, we all want the quick fix on our weight loss journey, right? But that's, I think, one of the big reasons why quick fixes will never work because changing what we think of ourselves takes time. It doesn't happen in a flash, right? It takes time and it takes work. And so that's why if you've ever dropped weight very quickly on one of those fad diets, it's not sustainable because you haven't done the inner work to learn to love who God created you to be. And you haven't done the inner work to like have that new perspective on who you are and to claim the truth about who you are according to what Jesus says. Absolutely. And so that, that really, we've been talking about B, which is belief. Yeah. <laughs> belief, if A is for awareness, we have to become aware of our thoughts, aware of what we're consuming and putting into our body. But B is the belief part of it, where we have to think about how we value ourselves. We are created in God's image. Do we believe it? And do we believe it's possible to lose the weight? Because if we don't believe it, it's like you just said, our lives are moving in the direction of our strongest thoughts. So we need to change our thoughts. Exactly. So what's C? C is all about consistency. And this is one that is also difficult because, you know, creating new habits is challenging. Being consistent with the healthy things is challenging, especially in the world that we live in today, where the processed junk and the sugar and all of this stuff is everywhere. It's all around us. We live in a culture of more, more, more of bigger, 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 and bigger is better. And you know what? Bigger is not always better, right? Like we know that for things like, you know, we always hear the analogies about like the bigger gift is not always the better gift, right? That's but with right. food, we seem to think that like bigger is better and that we need the most bang for our buck and value, value, value. And yeah, we want to be, you know, aware and conscientious of our pocketbook, but the best value for your pocketbook is not usually the best value for your body. That's right. And so it's really important to start becoming consistent with the healthy habits. Mm -hmm. And that means thinking about food differently. We don't want to obsess about food all the time. And it seems like, you know, for women, especially who want to lose weight, we just obsess about the food. All we can think of are thoughts of donuts and cakes and cookies and chips and bars. We have to take those thoughts captive. The Bible tells us to take those thoughts captive. Mm -hmm. God is asking us to treat our body like a temple, not a trash can. So why are we consuming our thoughts with those trashy foods? <laughs> I think the answer is because we have such mixed up relationships with food because we've been on so many fad diets for years and years. And that's all we know. All we know is, you know, oh, I can't have that because I'm on my diet. I'm never going to eat a carbohydrate again. I'm going to eat six packs of bacon today because I'm on this high protein, nothing else diet. We have such mixed up relationships with food. We've forgotten that food is fuel, also known as energy for our bodies to like consume and use, right? And so we've got to learn how to uncross those wires and get back to viewing food as fuel for our bodies. And the more that we can view food that way, then the less we have those obsessive thoughts about food, because, you know, a hundred donuts is not good fuel for your body. <laughs> no, certainly. Isn't. Even three donuts is not good fuel for your body. So we have to get back to the ABCs of healthy living. We have to become aware. We have to change our beliefs and we have to be consistent with the healthy habits. 
And then what we have to do, we've added another letter and it's G for grace. We have to give ourselves grace. We have to start afresh, start anew, because every day God gives us new mercies. Mm -hmm. So if you have failed and felt defeated and you just feel like a failure, we're going to ask you to wipe that slate clean because Jesus wipes our slate clean. Mm -hmm. We can start today. We can start making the right decisions, making the healthy choices and fueling our body with good, healthy foods. And we know that when we do this, we will shed the weight mm -hmm. because we reap what we sow, whether it's good or bad, we reap what we sow over time if we do not give up. And that's where that consistency piece comes in. And so really, you know, we'd like to invite you right now, if you are interested in how to lose weight without being on a diet, but you're like, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> we have our very own 10 day weigh down plan that we have both used to lose the weight. And hundreds and hundreds of other women have used this plan to lose the weight and to learn how to lose weight without being on a diet and how to view food as fuel for your body and create a healthier relationship with food. So we're going to link that down below for you. We would invite you to check it out. And we just know that if you follow that plan, you will lose the weight because like Ruth said, we reap what we sow over time if we do not give up. That's right. So we just want to encourage you to check that out below. And we also would ask you right now to go and like this video. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel because it really helps us out as well. And put a comment below and tell us which A, B or C you need to work on most. Is it the awareness piece, the belief piece or the consistency piece? Let us know in the comments. Also, one more thing. I'm going to talk about this book for another minute because here's the thing. You do have the power to change. You have the power to change your weight. You can reclaim your health. Mm -hmm. And if you're interested, you can get our plan, but you can also join our community where we are actually going through this book right now. <laughs> we are doing a study because this book is helping the women in our community shed the weight as well. Exactly. So we just invite you to join. Mm -hmm. So we just want to thank you so much for being here. And it really truly is our hope and our prayer that this information encourages you and gives you the hope that it is possible for you to go out and lose the weight to reclaim your health, reclaim your weight and reclaim your life so that you can go out and live the purpose that God has uniquely for you. So we always like to end these videos with this. Treat your body like a temple, not, not a trash, trash can. can.